the aliens reaction three pack comes with one queen alien figure one Ellen Ripley figure, one power loader, and includes a background if you were to display it in a diorama piece. Gonna first start off with the Ellen Ripley. This is a really nice sculpt. The jeans are very nice. You got your little Nike uh, boots. They look pretty funny. The head looks okay for a three and three quarter inch figure. The hair is on point. The face sculpt isn't too accurate, but if you throw her in the power loader, you pretty much know who she is. She's got her belts, the detailing of her little grenades that she has there. She has a watch with the silver paint. And of course on the back side you have your Funko tag from 2016. So she's your basic reaction figure, five points for articulation. There is the head, arm on a 360, arm on a 360. Very tight legs to start off with. She can sit down like so. And then she does not go back any further. I think that's like a standard with all these reaction figures. Overall she's all right. The power loader features articulation for the hatch for Ellen to go inside of. And luckily, we have arm movement for playability with the queen. It's unfortunate that the legs do not move at all. They're stiff, they're glued in. But the articulation for the power loader is 360 hinges all the way around on both sides. And it looks like they do not hinge outward. Also, another point of articulation is really cool is the uh, grasps. They don't grasp inward. I don't think any of them really do, toy-wise. But they do rotate, so that's pretty awesome. So you can have, like legitimately, like from the film, bam, like that, and have a diorama. So that's really cool. Detailing-wise, it looks decent. You got decals all over. You obviously know this is the power loader from Aliens. Got all kinds of paints here. You got reds, you got silver touches in the top and the back. The pumps. It looks pretty nice for a three and three quarter inch vehicle, vehicle accessory, what have you. So put Ellen in, you just open up the top hatch, slide her down, make sure her feet are down there. And there are little, like, little pegs, and they might be able to fit her feet there. So let's find out in a second. My hands are just so big. They do, so. She's not going to fall out, even without this clamping her down, so that's really cool. And let's see if the hands go inside of the power loader right here. They can, as you see there. Uh, it's really difficult because my fingers and my hands are so big. But uh, she can grasp onto them authentically and just have her posed like this when battling the queen. Um, obviously, if you move up... Oh wow, it actually does, so... I thought I was gonna break apart, but oh, good job! For the most part, there she was. She was moving. So maybe you have to hold it. There you go. But yeah, so for the most part, it works with her hand. So if you do want to pose her with it upward, it still kind of works. So good job by reaction. The Alien Queen is uh, quite interesting. She has a pretty decent sculpt for a three and three quarter inch figure. She does kick some ass. Uh, her legs articulate and they are a little loose, so that's a kind of unfortunate. Uh, my friend Baptiste warned me about that. You just have to be very careful on how you have her stand. So you have to have something like this. Or if you want to, there, she stands like that too. But um, you have to do some kind of like tightening for that this left hip, for this leg. It's kind of unfortunate, but that's the only real flaw of her. Honestly, they probably could have molded the left foot a little bit more backward for her little heel. Uh, it doesn't look as accurate, but if it would have held the joint in a little bit better, that would have been great. Or they, if they glued it a little more. So that leg moves in and out. This leg moves in and out. The arm moves back and forth. This arm does too. Her inner arms do not. The tail does not have any kind of wire inside, so it does not move. It kind of just helps support the figure anyway, so maybe that's a good thing. That's probably what they were thinking of engineering-wise. And then the head. The head does move, so that's that's pretty kick-ass. So good thing that the head moves, at least. And of course, it's hindered by the little spikes here on the sides. 
of her design. Overall, the paint is very basic for her. There's pretty much just one color besides the teeth being a different, being a yellowish. It is $30, so I guess what do I expect for having three things? But other than that, she's really cool besides the leg. So I'm gonna give this reaction Aliens 3 pack a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up because this thing is only 30 bucks. It comes with three things. Overall, it's pretty cool. If you're a kid or you have kids that love the Aliens films, I don't know why, but uh, they want toys that actually want to play with and not just like, you know, adult collectors that want to keep things in box. And this thing does look good in box. It really does. So if you're a new in box collector, or just keep stuff in the box. I really suggest and really recommend it. But as a playability thing for, for children, this is really cool. I mean, it got a lot of nice uh, little action features for kids that the figures move. Overall, they look pretty good. The paint's all right. And it's really cheap and affordable. I mean, this thing probably would be 40 or 50 bucks if it was a, a different brand than Funko Reaction. Reaction is doing a great job with these figures, and I hope to collect more of these guys. So it gets a recommend from me. Thank you very much for watching. End of line. I'm Brando, and I fight for the users. Thank you for choosing. See you